go from Razorback Field, Mississippi State in maroon. And Arkansas in all white, pressure right away, and a goal right away. I think the reality and sense of urgency hit them immediately. And I think our response was great, and just from a coach, I mean, the goal was uh, disappointing, embarrassing. I mean, you could put a lot of different things um, uh, associated with getting scored on in 10 seconds. And so we, we had a choice. We could either respond or not. Kylie Martins continues to be in the right spot at the right time, continuously scoring her fourth goal. Uh, as a freshman, which is exciting, and she's only halfway through the season, or just over halfway through the season. Kayla Harmon made an unbelievable defensive play and brought the ball upfield, made the right decision with Mallory, and she got out wide, and she crossed the ball into to Kennedy, and, and you know we've continued to talk to our players about getting in the box, getting into the near post. She went in there, and she didn't panic, and it went into her, and it was a ball that she couldn't score, but she could hold on to, and Mallory just kind of continued to follow her, her pass, and Kennedy laid just the perfect ball that could be finished first time, and, and uh, I mean, I think Mallory probably over the course of the week, you know, took a hundred different shots in and around the box. For me personally, um, you know, winning a SEC game was, was big, because I haven't won one here, and uh, this team represents, uh, you know, the, really this year from a standpoint of, of my first real recruiting class. I felt good about it, uh, but that lasted about 10 minutes because I realized uh, we got to do it again. And our ultimate um, goal is to be successful in this league and, and to prove that we, we can do it again. What we do is we, we look at what Arkansas did to us that made it difficult on us. Uh, we tried to uh, really tighten those things up in terms of, of our defensive effort, which I think has been solid, but it can always be better. Uh, and then our attacking moments individually, I thought were outstanding. And we, we definitely want to um, embrace those positives and, and move forward to a tough weekend because now it's a double this weekend versus Tennessee and Missouri. They're, they're at home, which are nice. I mean, we've been on the road for two weeks. Now getting to come back home is, is, is nice for our team to get back in front of our fans. Um, but uh, ultimately, we, we've, we've got to come out and give a performance that's worthy of our, the fan base that we're starting to create, and I think our players will do that. We met at a soccer camp. Uh, imagine that. Coaching. Coaching, yes. And uh, I really, I wasn't looking for a soulmate. <laughs> I really wasn't. I was just trying to take my lunch and uh, earn $250 for the week. And that was really about it. But I got a phone call like three nights later asking me out on a date. Asking me if I wanted to go with the family to Bossier City, Louisiana to go to Louisiana Downs horse track. That was the invite. And so I said, well, if we're going to go on a date out of the state, maybe we should <laughs> maybe we should have a date on the Friday night before we go. I actually had a date with someone else, another another um, coach, actually on the Friday night. And so I had to break my date with another guy to go out with Aaron on the Friday night. There was never any other guy. There, there was. Sure. There was no. There. there it was. But yeah, that's, that was the beginning, 1992. It was my senior year, and um, and so and Aaron and I, we would train our teams at the same field, and yeah. so not just from a dating standpoint, but we were coaching in the same club and, and training teams. It didn't matter, boys teams, girls teams, no. we would, I would, I would train his boys teams, and yeah. I've been coaching and together ever since. That's true. And if we don't like something, uh, we can we can tell each other and really challenge each other without being, I mean, personal. without being or taking it personal. Taking not it that personal. not that yeah. it can't ever get that way because certainly it can. They are funny at times, but then there are times that I kind of know when it's getting really personal, and I kind of just find a way to just back off and leave the office and whatnot, and let them handle their. Uh, their stuff. Aaron, I remember him telling us the first meeting we had when we first met him, because Ashley couldn't be there. He said, my wife is coming to help me, and he's like, but sometimes you guys are going to think out at practice that we're like, are they seriously married? Because they'll bark at each other. 
and they do. Sometimes they'll they'll get into it at practice, and it's really funny because you're like, I can't believe those two are married to each other. So even from a coaching standpoint, you know, you don't ever have to worry about whether it's you're you're hurting your assistant coach's feelings or no, I get or that, that you don't want to hear the hear the uh, hear the truth. Whereas in in any type of work setting, sometimes you know, really just candid behavior sometimes is hard. People try to deal with it in a in a real you know political way and uh, you don't have to sugarcoat things yeah you really just think of them as like and you know head coach and assistant coach you sometimes you don't really think about the fact that they're married to each other you know they're just kind of out there like you know two workers together basically they don't really act like husband and wife when they're out there working because it's solely just their job I think it's awesome that the players get the opportunity to see both you know the side of Aaron that is demanding that that he wants his players to perform and work hard. And I think it's also an awesome environment when they do invite them over for dinner and we have team dinners and everything to see the other side of that. He does have a heart and he does care. And you know, he does enjoy, you know, being around the girls and everything away from the soccer field. Coach Aaron is intense and has very high expectations for everyone. Uh, whenever we go to team dinners at their house, uh, that Aaron likes to sit and play guitar and, you know, like chill. So I think it's a great opportunity where the kids, the players are definitely able to come home and uh, come home for dinner and see that side of them. And, you know, a, a totally different mellow Aaron where there's no pressure. He can just relax, hang out with his wife and his kids and everything, play the guitar, sing, uh, watch movies and everything. I think it's a good side that the kids get a chance to see. I've seen him be sweet to his kids. I've been over at his house you know, many times since I've been here. And you know, you'll get to see him be dad when he's off the field and you get to see Ashley be mom. So I think that's kind of cool because then you can kind of watch them like outside of soccer and stuff and like you get to see that they're actually people, like a family. So that's awesome. I feel like all the other girls, like including myself, are big sister to Avery and, uh, and uh, Addison because Addison like follows all of us on Instagram and if she puts up a picture like for instance we went on an away trip to Martin and Addison put up a picture with a friend of hers but it just so happened to be a guy and all of us saw it first before Ashley did and we were all like who's this you know and Ashley was like what I've never seen that before so it was kind of funny because it was kind of like the the big sister feel of uh oh like does is this like just a friend or is it like a boyfriend and it was funny because I feel like all you know 24, 25 of us on the team are like big sisters too. They're two kids. Our children follow, of course, oh, you know, man. our players on, on Instagram and the and the team follows, um, they follow, they follow the kids. And so, you know. I probably kids, follow my players more than I follow my own kids, which is probably. No, I, I follow our well, kids. I follow our kids. kids. It, it really kind of became a, a culture within our relationship. Never, I've never thought twice about it. Well, we're